The 10th row, Joel Diamond from Lapeer, Michigan with Team Diamond. Craig Wellman, the number 13 sled. Birch Run, Team Wellman. The number 36, Robert Kaczynski from Bayport, Michigan, Russell Rampage. In the 11th row is Scott Masick from Goatsville, Firewell Motorsports, Arctic Cat. Robert Blackwell from Lapeer, Michigan with Rocket Ship Racing. Then the 96th sled of Ken Manning from Harrisville, ATM Racing, Arctic Cat. The 12th row, Tyler Reed from Sioux, Ontario, Borderline Racing. Number 24 sled of Dave Van Sloten, Rudyard, Michigan, CCMS Thunder. And number 24 sled of Dave Van Sloten, Rudyard, Michigan, CCMS Thunder. And John Bosick from Alexander, Minnesota, Bosick Racing with an Arctic Cat. Now, something of interest from... For you history buffs, if you would, machine totals over the years, 353 Polarises have run in this thing, 20, 251 Skidoos, 254 Arctic Cats, 237 Yamahas, 24 Scorpions, 19 Rups, 12 Chaparrals, 9 Mercuries, 8 Ski Rules, 7 John Deers. I don't know if they have more tractors or snow machines. Oh, oh, wait a minute, some Sears snow birdies, six of them, a couple of slow jets, no, that's snow jets, five of them to be exact, and some ski whizzes, four. And then there was 13 other miscellaneouses, nobody bothered to write down what the heck they were. The total miles that they've ran this race for the entire history of the race was 319,766 miles. That is a long ways to race on one track. Here's another interesting fact. On the weather conditions, the warmest that this race has ever been during the race was plus 37 degrees. The coldest low during the race, and this is unofficial, of course. Well, actually, this is official. They said 27 in 1985, a negative 27. Today, it is a negative 27. So we may have tied it, maybe even be a little chillier than that. Depends upon what the National Weather Service says. The pace slides off, and here we go, full green. Okay, we're just off of the green, and our early leader looks to be Brian Sturgeon with the Arctic Cat, and Rick Zudell is hot on his heels. Hey, I'll tell you what, we're right here next to I-75 Expressway, and we are at the end of the world as far as anybody in America knows. We're right there on the border. Look at the snow dust on the inside track down the front straight. It is just hanging in the air. These guys are at full speed. This could be a dangerous situation. You never know with racing, especially with the dust hanging that way. It's a beautiful sunshiny sun day, but it's colder than heck. Come on, guys, slow them down a little bit. Heck, what? We're still full green. Look at these guys roll. Hammer time. Tell you what, it is happening for Mr. Zudell and Mr. Sturgeon. They are rolling today. These guys are doggone fast. We're looking at average lap speeds of about 92 miles per hour. Look at the dust just hang there. It is super cold. 27 below, 90 miles an hour. It's got to be like popsicle time for these boys. There's that 37 Looks slide. Like the field may actually lap him. Here we come, there's Mr. Sturgeon right out in front. Look at that guy roll. Hey, you know, there's something kind of interesting. If you look on the sides of your screen, you'll notice that there's some kind of colored snow. What that is, is that's food coloring and also Kool-Aid. Uh, it's biodegradable and they use that to mark the corners so the drivers can actually tell where they're at on this track. Otherwise, they don't have a clue, and they're just kind of driving in a whiteout, much like driving your automobile. You don't know where you're at when it's snowing this hard. Look at the dust. You can hardly tell where they're at. Right now, they are on the front stretch between turns four and turns one, and they are definitely getting with the program today. Remember, it is a 500-mile event, so the person that's there the longest is going to win. It's not the person who gets there first. Again... It is a long race, 500 miles. 
in bone chilling temperatures. Temperature 27 below zero. Wind chill probably 90 below plus. These guys have got to be 